Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's quick tip, I'd like to answer a question I've gotten a few times from you guys over the last couple of weeks. How do you change the recording location from the internal memory of the Mavic 2 to an external memory card? Now remember, the Mavic 2 comes with 8 gigabytes of internal memory installed from the factory, and that's kind of a new thing for DJI. And 8 gigabytes seems like a lot of space, but if you're taking pictures, you're probably okay. The minute you turn on HD video recording, you're gonna find you have very limited space on that internal card. So you're gonna wanna add an external card like this to expand that space, and that's where the fun begins. So I use a 32 gig SanDisk card. I'll put a link below where you can go find the specs on that. You can use anybody's card you want, but I like the 32 gig size because I don't want to worry about losing all the footage from the morning if the card goes bad or, heaven forbid, I park the quad in a tree midway through the day. I carry a couple of those cards with me, and in the afternoon when I land the quad, I'll swap out a battery, I'll slide a new card in, and that way I know all the footage I've recorded that morning is in my pocket, just in case something terrible happens to the quad or that card fails. So you can use any size card you want. The settings I'm going to show you are exactly the same. Now what's interesting is you would expect when you slide a new card in that the quad would recognize that and default to the SD card and maybe use that internal memory as a backup. That's not the case. You actually have to change it in the application. And if you leave it on the micro SD card, pull the card out and transfer your photos and forget to put it back in, when you put the quad up next time, you'll actually see a, an error message across the button where you can't record. You've got to physically go in there and change it back to the internal memory. So it's important to understand how to switch between those two. To do that, you go into the DJI Go 4 application. Now I'm going to give you a hint here on something you can look at pretty quickly to tell which you're recording to at present, whether it's internal or external. On the upper right hand corner, you'll see the word capacity. Just below that will be a number. It'll either be the number of pictures you can still take uh, for available space on the quad, or it'll be the amount of footage you can still take with videos. If that number's small, you know you're recording to the internal card. Typically, if that number's bigger, so it's maybe 20 or 30 minutes worth of recording time and maybe thousands of pictures, you're probably already set for the external micro SD card, but you can verify that by going through these menu settings. So the way you get at this setting is on the right-hand side, you see the red dot that you use for recording or taking pictures. Right below that, you'll see a grouping of icons that look like adjustment knobs. If you tap that, that'll bring up the main menu for the settings for the video and the uh, pictures. Uh, you've got three icons across the top. The left one allows you to make adjustments to the quality of the footage. The middle one allows you to you know, change the size and all the rest of it. The icon you want to hit is the one on the right. It looks like a little gear up there. So if you tap that, you'll see another menu come up. Now looking closely at that menu, there's no way you can change those internal external settings on there. That's why I said it was a little bit buried. You actually have to put your finger on any one of those settings and scroll up. And when you scroll up at the very bottom is the storage location. So you can see to the right, there's a little arrow there. If you tap that arrow, it'll bring up your choices. You can either use the SD card, which is the external SD card, or you can use the internal memory. Now what's interesting about the setting too, is when you're looking at the available capacity there, that is actually uh, smaller the more you record. So that's the actual amount of space that's left on both your internal and your external card. That's really nice to see that because if you're gonna be swapping out cards like I do, I always like to look at that before I swap out the card to see, do I have half the card left? Do I have more than half the card? So it gives you kind of a, a gauge of exactly how much capacity is left. So you can decide which of those two cards you want. Just hit the back arrow and then hit the anywhere in the screen, it'll go right back out to the main menu. So. That's pretty much how you make that adjustment. I know it's simple, but they bury it so far down in that menu that a lot of times people have a hard time finding it. Um, again, I like using the 32 gig cards. You can use any size cards you want. Obviously, the bigger card you use, more capacity you've got to store more footage on there. That's pretty much it for today. So hopefully this answered the question. If you have any questions at all about what I've covered, drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. I'm planning on doing a lot more of these quick tips to try to answer a lot of the questions you're sending in rather than try to answer them on the forums or on YouTube because I feel like sometimes visually showing you what's going on just makes it a lot easier to find uh, whatever answers you need for the problems you have. So thanks an awful lot for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button down the bottom. We'll love to welcome you to the family. This uh, channel's been growing quite a bit over the last year. I'm very excited about the number of people that are joining us as uh, part of the Drone Valley family. So hit that subscribe button. And until next time, Happy flying.